Hello everyone. Welcome to La Excellence IAS Kalam program. This is a GS Mains answer writing initiative. We are in the season 2 and episode 41. I have a small announcement to make. La Excellence IAS is coming up with a prelims come mains 2021 batch. Online Zoom general studies classes are being conducted from 7th May 2020. Kindly look at the description for more details. Let us now come to today's question. The question says, the reservation of seats for women in the institutions of local self-government has had a limited impact on the patriarchal character of the Indian political process. This question is for 15 marks and it, we have to write the answer in 250 words. Okay, This is a question, previous year's question from General Studies Paper 2 of 2019 mains. So the topic is social issues and the subtopic is policies for vulnerable sections. If we look at the context in which this question was asked, 2019 was the election year and for the first time, 14% of the total number of MPs in the Lok Sabha were women. In the 16th Lok Sabha, these were just 11%. Though there was much improvement, this percentage is much behind the total population of women who contribute to around 50% of the total population. It shows that the patriarchal character is still persisting. Though we have got reservations if for women in the institutions of local self-government and there has been increased political participation or increased political representation, the real power is held by the husbands and by the family members of the women. It is in this context that this question has been asked. Let us now look at some of the value addition points that can be written in this answer. I think any fact relating to women empowerment could be written in this answer as a value addition point. Women empowerment is a very important topic from both essay perspective as well as from general studies. General studies both paper 1 Indian society as well as paper 2 social issues. So some facts which I can remember now are the female labor force participation rate of women has fallen from 37% to 26%. That shows that there is poor economic empowerment of women. Also, the amount of land held by women is very less. Only 14% of women have lands in their names. Okay, So, that is also showing poor economic empowerment of women. Apart from this, in gen gender equality index, India is performing poorly. So, there are many facts relating to women empowerment. These facts can be written as value addition points in our answer. Apart from this, the articles of constitution, especially those relating to self local self-government and the reservation of seats for women, that is the article 243D can be mentioned in the answer. And then you can write about some case studies, case studies which are showing that the real power is wielded by the uh, Sarpanch Patis in some of the rural setups. Okay. Some case studies, for example, in Maharashtra and Bihar, we see that most of the times the power is held by the husbands of the women. So, such case studies here could also be written as value addition points. Coming to what is to be avoided while writing this answer, if you read the question carefully, it is asking about the impact on only political process. It is not asking whether there has been an impact on the social fabric of the country or whether there has been an impact on the economic empowerment of women. So, why did I tell about these aspects in the value addition points? It is because those you will be writing as reasons for not having political change, but that will not form the core of our answer. Okay, The core of our answer should mainly focus on why in the polity or in the political aspect women could not move forward. Okay, So, that is to be avoided. Let us now look at how to write the answer in the introduction body and conclusion format. In the introduction, I think because the question is giving a statement, it has given a statement that reservation of seats has been given for women in institutions of local self-government. Okay, You can elaborate the statement by value addition. I told you about the articles of the constitution or 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment act has given them this reservation you can write. Okay, So, elaborate the statement given by some value addition. Also write some of the positive aspects of the affirmative action that is done. Okay, some There are some positives also. The political representation of women has increased. In some states, 
uh, the representation has gone up to 70 to 75 percent also women were representing around 75 percent of total number of seats okay so such positive uh, findings you can write in the introduction itself while in the body part you have to write why major changes could not occur in the political process especially in terms of gender equality i think you can divide this body into three parts in the first part you can tell about what are the persisting problems that is about panchayat pati syndrome and all and in the second part you can write about the reasons for the persisting problems that is poor economic empowerment the social attitudes of men criminalization of uh, politics which is uh, preventing women from entering the politics and then you can write about what can be done to address these issues and in the conclusion you will be writing that all round development of women is more important and reservations cannot be a panacea they can cause increased representation but that doesn't mean increased participation or you can use some quote which is appropriate to the answer and end with a positive note let us now look at a sample answer so the person writes the 73rd and 74th constitutional amendments to constitution of india have given 33% reservation to women in local self government institutions so just as i told you he is trying to add value to the statement that is already given in the introduction so this is a simple introduction moving forward he is writing about the positive impacts of reservation he has written increased political representation of women up to 50 to 58% in some states like jharkhand so almost 50 to 58% of the seats were occupied by women in this states next he is writing some political parties reserving 33% of tickets for women for elections to the parliament okay when elections to lok sabha were happening in 2019 leaving the major parties some of the parties regional political parties gave around 33% reservation for women for giving the tickets okay so this point he has mentioned as a positive impact so one thing is done somewhere it will have an impact elsewhere also he is then writing real empowerment of women in some areas like in taking forward swachh bharat mission in procuring essentials like drinking water electricity etc it has been observed that the panchayats or the areas where women were representatives fared better in procuring drinking water and electricity for the villages so that is the point he is writing here so these are some of the positive impacts of giving reservation to women in the local self government institutions what does he write further he is writing persistence of patriarchal character in political process in that he writes only 14% of the total members in the current lok sabha are women while the global average is 24% so global average is 24% india is much, much behind we are only 14% so this is a good value addition that he has given he is then writing sarpanch pati syndrome the real power in most cases is wielded by husbands or their families we have already discussed this point he also writes non passage of reservation bill for women in the legislature even after 24 years so the bill for res reservation for women in the legislatures has been pending since 1996 okay many times lok sabha has uh, dissolved because of which the bill has lapsed now it has been passed by rajya sabha but yet to be passed by lok sabha so non passage of reservation bill shows that there is a lack of political will even after 24 years it could not be passed okay so that point he is writing so he is trying to reflect what are the challenges or what are the persisting problems with respect to women empowerment in the political arena he is then writing the reasons for persisting patriarchal nature so what all is he writing he has uh, written about the patriarchal mindset leading to lack of political will he is then writing the role of muscle and money power in electoral process you all know that in india's electoral process money power plays an important role also the muscle power 
women are financially dependent on women men so women's financial dependence on men keeps them behind in the race women labor force participation rate in india is 27% showing poor economic empowerment so this is how you have to link various issues this point is relating to economic empowerment and here he is trying to link it to the electoral process and political empowerment because there is a role of muzzle and money power in electoral process because of lack of economic progress women are not able to participate in the electoral process or women are not able to win in the electoral process he then writes criminalization of politics women naturally left behind women are naturally kind hearted and there are less number of criminals in uh, criminals among women because of which women are naturally left behind or the criminal men are going into the politics because of which women are left behind he further writes lack of capacity building for women representatives so this point is talking about social empowerment of women see how he is trying to link the answer social empowerment he is uh, because of not having social empowerment that is lack of education and lack of capacity building there is a lack of political participation by women also he writes stereotyping of women's role as a domestic caretaker presence of glass ceiling preventing moving up the ladder in politics i think he has tried to use good keywords as well as good value addition points in this answer and he also writes poor education this is also a part of the social empowerment so how social lack of social empowerment and lack of uh, economic empowerment is leading to lack of political empowerment of women he is trying to talk here that is the reasons for persisting the uh, persisting of the patriarchal nature in the political process let us see what he writes further he is writing how to change the patriarchal nature of the political process in that he writes attitudinal change in the minds of the people to be brought by incorporating gender equality in the educational curricula in the workspace environment and in the entertainment media so mainly he is talking about the attitudinal change this takes a long time any social changes especially the attitudinal changes take a long time it could take decades to bring about these changes so mainly it can be brought by changes in the educational curricula and in the workplace as well as in the entertainment media you all have been seeing that following the covid-19 lockdown some of the uh, movie stars have started showing up especially the men have started showing up doing the household chores this is done with an intention to motivate people outside to motivate men to help their uh, wives not to leave the household chores as they are the works of women okay so that uh, that is the role the entertainment media plays so he is telling that entertainment media also has to be engaged in bringing about the attitudinal change he then writes economic empowerment of women by providing more opportunities affirmative actions that is the reservations enhancing the security for women yes security for women is very important we have been seeing increased cases of violence as well as rapes on uh, on women especially the working women happening day by day also equal pay for equal work etc why equal pay for equal work in some states the situation is very poor especially in the rural india if a man is paid 500 women is paid hardly in 100 or 200 rupees because of which women are prevented for from growing uh, going for employment so economic empowerment as well as attitudinal change he has spoken he then writes political empowerment of women cannot happen without social and economic empowerment hence the need of the r is to focus on all round development of women who form around 50% of the population and without women's participation the society cannot move forward so this is the conclusion he is trying to give it's a simple conclusion telling about the importance of social and economic empowerment for political empowerment it is an apt conclusion though it doesn't have any quote or uh, uh, very good value addition it is trying to be quite relevant let us analyze the entire answer he has written a good introduction by elaborating on the statement that, that is given in the question and then he has written 
simply about the positive impacts of reservation in two or three points followed by what are the examples of persistence of patriarchal character in the political process in india followed by the reasons he has mentioned reasons in a nice format giving value additions then he has mentioned what is to be done to change this status of political process in india okay wherein he told about attitudinal change as well as economic empowerment and he has given a simple yet relevant conclusion overall i think it is a good enough answer before coming to the end of our discussion let me give you the task for today read about women empowerment holistically try to jot down important facts try to update it with the facts whenever some important reports come up okay try to make a short note of around 150 to 250 words so that it will be ready before your mains okay let us all meet again tomorrow thank you